Welcome back to my channel everyone. I'm Charles from Charles Zen Photography and in today's Lightroom tutorial I'm going away from my normal editing tutorials because I'm going to give you the chance of actually following along with me wherever you are at home, on your PC, on your laptop because you can download these 10 files that I'm going to be working on today in the description box below. They've been zipped into one file called Stack. 01 so you can download the, the zip file open the zip file up and you will have these 10 images the only thing I ask is you don't take credit for these images that were taken by me these 10 images were taken on my Nikon D500 and the Takina 100mm f2.8 lens and what we're going to do today is we're going to add some artistic flair to just a plain old fungi image so we're going to use the radial filter the brush tool we're going to throw the background into a very muted color just to make our fungi photo pop so come along and let's get stuck into it now so these are our 10 images that we're going to be working with so I click on the develop tool click my first image here and you can see it's fairly plain Jane so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color temperature. I'm going to cool it down quite a bit. And the reason I want to do this is I want to mute the background. Now I'm going to reduce the exposure down quite a bit. There. Now understand that when you're working with a raw file in Lightroom, it's not like you're actually affecting the image. You're actually just working on like a thumbnail. So even though it looks like we're affecting the fungi and all that, when we actually start editing the fungi with the radial filter and the brush tool, we can actually bring all the detail, all the color that we've actually taken away right now. So don't be scared about that. I'm going to reduce the highlights, reduce the shadows, reduce my blacks, and I'm going to decrease the texture by about 50% there and decrease the clarity by about 40 there. So this shows that now our background is very muted and when we're going to edit the fungi, our fungi is going to pop. So the first thing we do is we're going to edit the top of the fungi and the stem. So the first thing we're going to do is use the brush tool, but I'm going to zoom into 50%, click the brush tool and I'm going to click on show mask overlay because I want to see where I'm going to paint. Now you can see also that I've got auto mask on. That's because I don't want to go over the edge of the fungi. If you've never used auto mask, what it means is as long as you stay inside, if you've got that little plus, see the little plus in the middle there? As long as you just keep that inside of where you're working, it's not going to affect your outer edges. Now I've actually just gone over the edge of the, the fungi, but that's all right. I'll just adjust the edge around here. Now I'll take auto mask off. Now I can paint all the inside of the image. There. Now I've gone over the edge a bit here. So I come to erase and I'm just going to erase the outer there. Now it's very important when you're editing like this that you don't go over edges because if you're just working on one image, you could always come back later and remove that. But because we're going to be blending these images into one, once it's been blended into Photoshop and you actually see that you've gone over the edge, that different color is going to be very hard to remove or to blend back in. So I'm happy with that. Remove the mask overlay. I can see the fungi here. Now I'm going to re-increase my exposure. There. So we're going to cool the image down a bit. There. That looks really good. Now, I'm going to reduce the highlights, increase the shadows, reduce the whites, and reduce my blacks a little bit. Now, I'm going to add texture, clarity, and dehaze to make this area pop. So, we bring the texture up, we bring the clarity up, and we bring the dehaze up there not too much that's it we click done now you can see that it's already popping a little bit but not enough really so now that we're in full screen I'll click back on it 
and I'll increase it a bit more there now that you can see the top of the fungi looks quite good so now the top of the fungi looks really good now let's do the underside of the fungi and we'll do the stem and we'll do the stem at the end so we click done now I'm going to click back on 50% I'm going to grab the radial filter click on mask overlay now you can see there's no feather here I'm actually going to add a, a little bit of feather not too much there the reason I want a bit of a feather is that I just want to blend in to the rest of the image. Now you're most likely going to go over the edge a little bit so we're just going to use the brush tool just to erase that area after. There, that looks really good. So I unclick it. Now what I'm going to do before I do any more editing I'm going to affect the color. I'm going to bring the exposure up there and because this is stacked image you can actually see that all the behind there all the bottom of the fungi is all blurred out but you'll see when we stack it everything will be in focus now we're going to increase the color all the way to 100% we're going to come down to saturation increase it by 70% there now can you see this little rectangle box here that shows color we're going to click on this and normally this is gray your base color is gray in these sliders but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the base color to a goldy color so we're going to come up here I want around 60 you can see that the highlight is 240 I'm going to bring it up to 60 there and the saturation level I want around 70 percent you see the colors change this slightly like that now I don't need to change the highlights, shadows, but I've got to re-add some clarity, sorry, some texture. Re-add some clarity at the same thing, 25 around that, and just a little bit of dehaze there. That's it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the eraser tool just to get rid of everywhere I've gone over the edge and also to remove the stem. So we click on the brush tool we click on the eraser and I'm just going to go around the edge there just take your time now I'm going to do the top here as well and you can see now that when I'm erasing this I'm actually affecting the top of our fungi it's got to look realistic there now look can you see here we can see that when we did the brush tool we actually didn't paint on here so I'll just click done for the time being come back up to the brush tool click on it and I'm just going to paint here where I missed now go back to the radial filter click on it click the brush tool click erase and you can see I just want to get rid of it's just hanging on the edge there there so that looks really good now I click back on the radial filter and we're going to get rid of this middle stem here click brush erase auto mask you can see it actually looks quite dark but that's okay okay now we click done now we're going to use the brush tool again and this time for the stem so I'm going to show mask overlay make sure I'm on auto mask now you might ask why I actually didn't do it this brush tool at the same time that I did the top of the fungi well the reason is that I want this area to have just a little bit more glow than the rest of the fungi so it would have meant having to come back again and add some color done I just want to move it up a little bit now I've just had to zoom out so I could actually see the whole fungi I click mask overlay off that's it now that looks really good we click done go back in click it again now I'm actually going to increase the exposure there a little bit more now I can actually add a bit of warmth reduce the highlights a little bit reduce my blacks a bit not too much we've got to give it some clarity and texture and just a little bit of dehaze increase a little bit more now we can see there's in this area here that the top of the stem is a little bit dark so I'll click done 
I'll zoom in now and I'm just going to use another brush tool just to lighten up this area here just a little bit not too much there that actually looks really good like that now look at that that looks so cool but if I click on here now you can see I've just gone over the edge here so I'll click the brush tool make sure I select the right one this one here we click erase and I'm just going to go over the edge there I'm happy with that that looks really cool that's it our image is done if the background looks a little bit too dark for you you could always sort of bring it back so if you think the background's too dark you could just bring it back up a little bit but if you do that then you're going to have to reduce the exposure for your fungi because now you can see that it actually looks a little bit bright looking at now like if i reduce a little bit more this is where we were actually this looks a little bit better and the fungi is still not too bright so if i come back just let's see i'll just reduce the exposure just a little bit that looks good okay so we click done now we come up to the library panel and you can see look at that before and after look how good they look so we select the first image select our last image number 10 and we come down here to the bottom right and we say sync settings and you tick all the boxes that you've actually worked on so the only one in local adjustments we haven't done is graduate filters that's the only one I'm not going to tick I haven't cropped it I haven't used the spot removal tool everything else I've adjusted so we click synchronize now let's export these 10 images into Photoshop so any of these images here we just right click on it we click edit in and we go down here open has layers in Photoshop you can't just say edit in Adobe Photoshop you have to say open has layers now this part takes a bit of time so I'll speed through here that's it all our images have been open has layers in Photoshop now before we blend them together we have to auto align them if you've got a camera that does all of the stacking for you in your camera then you really don't have to do the auto aligning but for me I've actually selected the focus point on all of these images so I've just touched the rear LCD screen and although the tripod was very secure you never know if the camera moves just that fraction I'm talking sometimes just one or two millimeters but it's enough to actually throw one or two images out so we select all the images we come up here to edit and we select auto align layers and we click on auto that's it so you can see it's actually moved some of the images around and now our image is correctly aligned so I'm going to crop it and because I want to keep it has a 6x4 image I've selected on fixed ratio so I'm going to come down to the bottom here select about here and just go up there go image crop that's it now we've got a very nice image now we can come back to edit and we go auto blend and we select stacked images we click OK that's it look at that you can see that all the extra layers are on the side here and now if I zoom in they're nicely joined together beautiful and you can see there's just a little bit of area missing here that's because I probably just didn't focus on that one little bit but it's so hard to actually guesstimate but I'm still pretty happy but if I zoom in here remember I was saying you've got to be careful when you're actually painting look carefully here can you see that I've just gone over the edge here a little bit it's not a big deal but this is why I was saying take your time now that our image is stacked we come up to layer and we say flatten that's it and I just click on the cross mark here and it will ask you to save you say yes save it that's it we click close Photoshop we come back here there's our image here I'm just going to rename this image as stacked 01 that's it hit enter so that's it now we go back to the develop module and look at that that is just so cool so now if you actually just want to just do a little bit more work on the image you can but remember now unless you're actually going to sort of use a brush for your background whatever you do here to the fungi you're actually going to affect your background as well if I zoom into 50% here take a look now I've just rushed this just that little bit 
but see on the right here it's actually a very hard line whereas you can see on the left here it looks more realistic but this gives you a very good idea of what you can do to an image and it's so much different to our original image so remember download the zip file extract it onto your computer or laptop and you can do everything that I've just done here with this image so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you found value in it give me a thumbs up I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my YouTube channel stay safe and I'll see you next time